The town of Santa Cesare Terme is situated on the east side of Salento. Its evocative coast is part of the regional nature park Costa Otranto, Santa Maria di Leuca and Bosco di Ticase. Its territory is among the most attractive and the most sought-after sea resource in the Salentinian touristic itinerary. The town centre is situated at the foot of a verdant hill in ancient times known as Montem Saracenum, on which you can find the watchtower of the same name, also known as Tower of Santa Cesaria. This tower was once connected to other similar towers, such as Torre Specchia La Guardia and Torre Minervino. Along the coast one finds thermal mineral springs, which possess beneficial properties, enriched as they are by the presence of a bromine, sulfur and sulfurous hydrogen gas. The waters of Santa Cesare Terme were already known in ancient times. In particular, the characteristic sulfur odor attracted many explorers and sailors who frequented the coasts and the Strait of Otranto and they encouraged the birth of many legends. Santa Cesaria is linked to the myth of the Luterni giants, who, according to legend, died in many of the caves and cavities along the coast. It is said the dissolution of their bodies made those underground waters sulfurous, as evidenced by the unmistakable, pungent smell. In the Christian era, the territory and its name were linked to Saint Cesaria a virgin hermit who, according to tradition, took refuge in the caves of this area to escape the dangerous attention of her father. The Church of Sacro Cuore di Gesù is an example of the strong devotion of the citizens to their patroness. It was built in 1924 on an ancient chapel, where, according to tradition, the young holy woman died. Behind the church you can find the former convent of the Minor Friars, which houses the Museum of the Sea. The museum preserves an interesting collection of finds from the sea. Here it is also possible to admire a precious historical collection of scuba equipment. From the terraces of Santa Cesaria, you can get lost in the vast view of the sea, the area's primary feature and the guardian of the ancient and spiritual soul of these places. Towards the second half of the 19th century, many noble and middle-class Salentinian families built their villas in Santa Cesaria in order to make their summer stays more comfortable. The spectacular Villa Sticchi is a particular standout owing to its eclectic forms. It was designed by the engineer Pasquale Ruggeri in 1895, according to the wishes of Giovanni Pasca. Its Moorish shapes 
which draw from the architectural romanticism typical of the palaces of the Ottoman Empire, inspired the well-known director and actor Carmelo Bene, who in 1968 introduced the building in his movie Nostra Signora di Turchi. Villa Raffaella is linked to the great Milanese writer Maria Corti, known for her novel L'Ora di Tutti, set in Otranto. The palace was based on a design from her father Emilio Corti, who realized an innovative and eclectic building, which mixes the Mediterranean taste with Rio Romanesque style. Tamburino Palace is also known as Miramare Palace, or Palace of the Hundred Windows, because of its typical openings which characterize the facade of the structure. Built in the early 1900s, it housed a casino from 1948 to 1949. The Thermal Palace Hotel dates back to the fascist period and is characterized by typical forms of fascist art. This is an elegant and prestigious structure with a panoramic terrace, where visitors may admire the pleasant coastal landscape of the original nature park Costa Otranto, Santa Maria di Leuca and Bosco di Tricase. It is administrated by the municipality of Santa Cesarea Terme and by the region of Puglia. Villa Anna was realized during the fascist period and once housed a kindergarten and later a hotelier institute. The tourist industry of Santa Cesarea Terme is intimately linked to the presence of important thermal waters, belonging to this concentration of salty bromine iodine sulfurous fluoridated waters. This is an important natural water resource with medical properties, which was already known in the past, particularly useful for the treatment of rheumatic ear, nose and throat and gynecological diseases. The thermal baths belong to the public company Terme di Santa Cesaria S.P.A. and they are Palazzo, Gattulla and Sufuria, three establishments placed near the thermal sources. Thanks to the presence of hydrogen sulfide, the waters of Santa Cesaria have beneficial properties for the treatment of respiratory and bone afflictions. Recently, the thermal waters have been used in the wellness industry for beauty and relaxation treatments. Every year, many users benefit from these treatments helpful as they are for body care and physical well-being. belonging to Santa Cesana Terme boasts very ancient origins dating back to the Iron Age. Situated on the road which linked Vasta with Castro, it has always been the crossroad of the rural settlements of the area. A 
At the entrance of the village, you can find a well-known cisternale, a pond carved into the rock, probably dating back to the Iron Age, which supplied water to the rural settlements of the surroundings. In the historical center of Vitigliano, you can find the main church, built in 1726, dedicated to St. Michael the Archangel. A few dozen meters from the main church, one finds the chapel of San Rocco, which contains the statue of the co-patron saint, whose feast day is celebrated in Vitigliano on August 21st and 22nd. Saint Luigi Gonzaga is conversely celebrated on June 21st. For the occasion, the statue of the saint is carried in a solemn procession and is welcomed by the faithful with decorations constructed from palm leaves. The feast of Saint Luigi is very important because it marks the end of spring and the beginning of summer. In the urban architecture of the ancient village, you can easily find the facade of Chullo Palace, an example of noble Salentinian architecture. Alongside the entrance to the palace, you can find a small oratory dedicated to Mary Immaculate, embellished by a belfry placed at the top of the building. Gargasoli Palace is the cultural center of Santa Cesare Terme. The noble building houses the Museum of Cloaks and Civic Towers. In its rooms you can admire the cloaks and timing mechanisms once placed on the municipal towers of Santa Cesare Terme, Vitigliano and Cerfignano. In addition, it is possible to visit the permanent exhibition dedicated to ancient fossils. It is an interesting collection where you can admire different minerals and fossil remains of ancient marine organisms found inside the Salentinian stones which have encased these magnificent jewels. The Maria Santissima Dolorata Church stands near the Calvary. This is a building linked to the confraternity of the same name in Vitigliano and completely constructed from Carparo and Leccese limestone. Vitigliano is able to combine the ancient and the modern. It is fascinating to walk through the streets of the small historical center or along the dirt roads that cross the dry stone walls, where the smells and colors of the land bring to mind Salento's history. Cerfignano, another hamlet belonging to Santa Cesare Terme, is a community of 1800 people, which preserves unchanged the charm of the Salentinian province, simple, sunny and welcoming. The countryside still preserves the memories of its past, particularly visible in a section of ancient Roman paved road probably once connected to the Traiana Calabra road. The 
the historical center of the village, draws the attention of visitors searching for historical artistic treasures. The religious architecture is visible in the parish church, dedicated to the visitation of the Virgin Mary, completed in 1806. The church recalls the splendors of Rococo style and late 18th century architectural practices. The Osanna votive column, among the oldest of the area, stands majestically in front of the church, in the Vittorio Emanuele Square, exactly in the center of the village. Within the ecclesiastical building, providing a place for popular devotion, are the interesting chapels dedicated to Saint Joseph and Madonna of Constantinople, this last one known as Saint Loya, for the ancient presence of a votive altar dedicated to the Bishop Eligio. Sant Antonio Church is a recently constructed building. It was built in 1938 by the brothers Vigiano, in order to satisfy a vow made by their mother. It is important to mention the Immaculata Concezione Church, called by the faithful Church of the Congregation, dating back to the early 20th century. In the neighboring territory of Santa Cesare Terme, you can visit the Madonna del Lidri Church. It was constructed in the 15th century, and it is linked to the ancient peasant devotion for the Madonna of the Water, or Idri, from the Greek Hydro. The countryside surrounding Cerfignano is majestic, and it is rich in thousand-year-old peasant structures. The centuries-old olive curves and the dry stone walls silently protect the magnificent historical heritage of this community of the southern Salento. The rocky curve in Porto Migiano enhances the coast of Santa Cesare Terme with its rare beauty. The sandy bottom and its characteristic composition make Porto Migiano among the most beautiful places for swimming in Puglia, a destination of thousands of tourists every year. The landscape is characterized by the presence of the watchtower of the same name belonging to the ancient county of Castro. The military architecture is clearly visible in its imposing structure, characterized by wide arrow slits and murder holes placed at the top. Many tourist boats call at Porto Migiano and they allow the exploration of the wide coastal heritage of Santa Cesare Terme, belonging to the regional nature park Costa Otranto, Santa Maria di Leuca and Bosco di Tricase. Along the jagged and impervious coastline, it is possible to admire the presence of different ravines, as suggested by the romantic beauty of the site Liarchi, an impressive stretch of the coast characterized by a steep cliff. Here you can find the most distinctive caves of Santa Cesare Terms landscape heritage, such as Grotta di Malebasso, Grotta del Ciolaro, Grotta delle Ancore e Grotta delle Rose di Mare. The caves are of archaeologic interest and they are a witness of the ancient human presence in the southern Salento. It is important to stress the historical importance of the sites of Carlo Cosma and Ignazio Spagnolo, places where you can admire some ceramic materials dating back to the Mycenaean period. 
The vast landscape heritage is enriched by the presence of fresh water sources, situated especially near the hollows. The blue of the sea fades into the green of the Mediterranean vegetation. Here you can enjoy the coolness and shade of Aleppo ponds, which vigorously grow in the Belvedere and Robinson parks, situated along the shady slopes of San Cesare Terna. Robinson Park is a recently redeveloped equipped area. In the summer, many concerts and leisure and cultural events take place here. The Pine Forest is equipped with rest areas where it is possible to relax and to enjoy the landscape which extends above the blue sea of Santa Rosa de Terra.